Okay, hi. Uh, good morning po. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Ang po si Pao Salud at ito po ang ating um, Chocolatito versus Gonzales uh, five blog and commentary. Makipag-usap po ako sa inyo, makipagkwentuhan. And then, of course, uh, while we're watching uh, the fight of Chocolatito Roman Gonzales against uh, uh, Gonzal, uh, parang Gonzales Israel Gonzales. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Pao Salud. Baka hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, pasubscribe po. Wala po akong papakitang video, so kung sakali po na kinlik nyo na ito na hindi live, eh, wala pong video dito, ito po ay kwentuhan namang uh, blow by blow and then we will talk about kumbaga um, uh, round per round at i-score natin round per round kung uh, ano yung nakita natin sa laban. Alright, <coughs> so kanina lang po ay uh, pinakita po si Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is uh, at uh, Gymnasio TV Azteca, yung po nagaganap yung laban nito ni... Um, Roman Gonzalez at ni Israel Gonzalez. So, doon po yung laban. At uh, so Mikey Garcia was the special guest uh, with Mauricio Sulaiman, the, uh, the president of WBC. Now, meron na naman isang pong boksingero na i-interviewin itong si Mauricio Sulaiman. At uh, tingnan natin kung sino yung uh, i-interview niya. Oh, Emmanuel Navarrete po. Emmanuel Navarrete. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to wait. Hindi ko po kasi muna nilalabas Uh, yung uh, yung ganito kasi uh, mas maganda pag uh, malapit na yung laban sa so laban na agad na pinag-uusapan but since uh, ang ganda ng book ni Emmanuel Navarrete <laughs> Navarrete Navarrete Okay Emmanuel Navarrete Na umaga, uh, pakicomment po kung mga taga-sampo yung mga nanonood at tingnan natin. They're talking about the uh, second world title uh, one of Emmanuel Navarrete is just taking a bit of rest. Yeah, while we're waiting for the fight po, uh, you can uh, ask questions if you have any questions for me. Uh, so, Habang uh, pinapanood natin si Manuel Navarrete na ini-interview ni uh, Mauricio Sulaiman. <laughs> All right. Um, pabor ka ba kay Manny Pacquiao na gumawa ng bagong komisyon like uh, GAP yeah, Boxing sa Pilipinas? Um, actually, this has been the, a long issue po, uh, Sir Naruto Pelonye. At uh, a lot of people has been asking me for my opinion uh, about this. Uh, and because it's a little bit political and because I know games in amusement board and obviously idol ko si Manny Pacquiao. And uh, I've seen also po yung mga taga... Uh, yung mga boxing, uh, ang tawag dito, stakeholders, when I say stakeholders po, yung mga boxingero, yung mga trainer, yung mga manager, yung mga promoter, I've, I've seen um, medyo magkakaiba yung point of view nila. Uh, but majority of them wants, uh, I, I believe, uh, I'm not sure exactly, but majority of them uh, want Games and Amusement Board to have um, still the control over the sanctioning or the commission or the supervising of boxing and combat sports here in the Philippines. Um, para sa akin po, wala naman pong masama sa adhika eh, ni, uh, ni uh, Manny Pacquiao to create a uh, boxing commission. I think it's great. Uh, I think uh, the purpose, the mission, and the goal of uh, creating a boxing commission para po dito sa Pilipinas, kumbaga Philippines, ang tawag yata, Philippines Boxing Commission and Other Combat Sports or Philippine Boxing and Other Combat Sports Commission. It's good kasi matatarget yung uh, boxing at saka matatarget yung uh, combat sports and uh, it will just be one agency. Um, and with uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, under the helms, uh, we all know na malakas ang uh, uh, influence ni Manny Pacquiao. Or, uh, so maybe, just maybe, you know, uh, they'll be able to do the, the task well, but we don't know that exactly. Now, here's the point naman sa Games and Amusement Board. Um, Naruto. If if it was uh, according to ano po ah, according to many because I I still consider myself on the outside although nakakausap ko yung maraming manager and promoter nakakapunta ako sa games and amusement board um like a few years ago 
uh, before, actually, bago ako naging close sa games in amusement board, there was a different management or different chairman um, na hindi ako masyado close. When when um, Abraham Mitra or Baham Mitra, who's uh, my friend also, uh, in fact, um, he treats me very well and uh, in fairness with him since he took that helm or he took uh, the uh, games in amusement board, eh, napakaganda na po ng development sa uh, games in amusement board in terms of handling uh, boxing and other combat sports, I believe. There's a lot of innovation, a lot of things that had happened under him. And uh, hindi lang ako yung nagsasalita nito dahil nakakausap ko po yung mga stakeholders niya at sila na mismo nagsasabi, kung dati ganito, dati ganon. Nothing will be perfect, however, and uh, there will still be any, cons- uh, merong laging concern, merong laging issue. And I think it will happen in any, uh, whatever the name of the commission, kahit sa PBC or sa sa boxing commission ni Manny Pacquiao or sa boxing commission ni Kunsino Man or sa games in the mismo board. Um, kumbaga, ano, wala namang 100% na talagang uh, ang tawag dito, talagang uh, masasatisfied lahat eh. Laging may laging may naysayer ang tawag dyan. By the way, <laughs> salita ko ng salita, naririnig niyo po ba ako? Ito po ay aking uh, Chocolatito vs. Gonzalez fight vlog but nagtanong lang si Naruto Pelone because hinihintay pa natin yung laban ni Chocolatito at ni Gonzalez. Um, uh, isa pang question ko, meron po ba akong audio at, at meron po ba akong ads na lumabas? <laughs> Kasi laging yung mga live ko parang walang ads eh. So wala, parang wala akong kinikita. Anyway, um, so uh, yun po ang aking pananaw. Uh, right now, ang pananaw ko talaga is uh, uh, I'm not entirely sure where to uh, where to stand i stand in the middle uh but i believe uh, games in amusement board have have done a good job the truth is we don't need it right now because of the uh current situation and i don't know i've, I've heard games in amusement board budget was not uh, that uh or how would i say this not suffice uh with the current mandate um uh so creating a new agency for boxing which is basically a sports you know uh and i love boxing it, it's not an agency for like there's a need and a want uh yung bagay need yung uh, sa health sa education sa infrastructure natin dito yung mga current needs natin and i don't want to be political i'm just i have nothing or for i'm not promoting anyone so i think um Maybe after the pandemic would be a uh, great, uh, a good opportunity to talk about uh, the commission again, Naruto. And I hope I'm I'm being uh, fair with you with this one and explaining to you because um, it's good to hear both sides. Mas maganda. Uh, hindi lang tayo kumbaga popularity contest because if it's popularity, man, Manny Pacquiao is going to win this by landslide uh, because we all know naman na maganda yung ginawa niya. But uh, with the situation, Isipin mo mag alay na naman yung uh, uh, yung government with with this new budget but I don't know exactly um, I don't want to sink my teeth into this uh, kind of uh, conversation right now but uh, 50-50 I'm uh, I'm just standing in the middle whoever uh, wins I will support whoever whatever happened I will support but I'm telling you, Games and Amusement Board is doing a lot better job than uh, than before. And uh, that's all I'm saying. Okay, and right now, um, you're showing us that uh, uh, the, the fight. So, wala pa pala yung fight. I mean, uh, four fights happened. Martinez versus Calieros. Ang galing pala nitong uh, Martinez na to. Ang galing. Sobrang abili, sobrang lakas. Pinatumba niya kagad yung kalaban niya. So, I think uh, itong Martinez na to will be... Uh, Someone that we look, uh, we may wanna see. Okay, pasa mo na ako ng comment ha. Live ba it? Live ba to? Live po yung usapan. Wala po tayong ano. Um, Papahit ng fight dito, Marlon. Uh, ang laban po nila ay dapat ngayon na. Uh, pero wala pa po. Uh, pinapanood ko po to sa the zone. Anong oras ng laban nila? Dapat ngayon. Eh, mahaba yung interview. Good morning, boss pao. Uh, boom boom pao. Cash shout out from San Mateo Rizal. Ramuera uh, venture. Alam mo pare, I, I want to tell you, and I, I forgot to to uh, say this. Uh, maybe I should just put this on the start every time so I don't forget. 
Um, we already have a sponsor right now with our uh, fight blog, with our live pod, fight blog. Bitos Barbecue po. Uh, pwede po kayong order. Napakasarap ng barbecue nila. They're sponsoring this live show. And uh, I appreciate their sponsorship. And uh, hindi lang barbecue ang binigay sa akin yan. So may kasamang kaching-ching. So salamat po. Uh, Bitos Barbecue. You can just go to their Facebook page and uh, order uh, that uh, scrumptious uh, and dog this scrumptious barbecue chicken and uh, pork bar- barbecue. Okay. Paka Ramora Ram Ramerwa Venture baka pwede ka ring mag-sponsor. <laughs> Now po ba ang laban niya sa Sir Pau? Yes, ngayon hinihintay lang po natin na umakyat sila sa ring. Good morning, good morning po sa inyo lahat. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Ako po si Pau Salud. At uh, good vibes lang tayo. Pinapakita na po ngayon si um, si Bato, si Chocolatito. Parang nanibago ako sa mukha niya eh. Mary Jane, um, Cosme, good uh, good day good day sa'yo, Mary Jane. What happens if Chairman Bahamitra step down? That's uh, another story. That's another story. Man, he, 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 <laughs> alam mo, Naruto, I, I really appreciate your, your comment. Um, ito yung mga gusto kong comment so, sometimes siguro I'm thinking about uh, having you on the show or having someone uh, who have um, kumbaga para medyo yung usapan namin eh, medyo I would say interesting yung deeper not just boxing additional things about boxing you know the higher the, the other things that's happening within and around boxing and uh, um, I'm, th- I'm thinking of that um What happened if Bahamitra steps down? Obviously, there will be a new chairman. And uh, hopefully, uh, whoever that new chairman would be, would be able to continue what the, the good things that uh, Bahamitra did uh, with uh, the current games in Amusement Board. Um, I know um, in the past, we, we, have, uh, uh, we have had this news that uh, Chairman Baham is uh, stepping down. I just don't know when. Uh, maybe this year, maybe next year. So that's another story. So, um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Sometimes kasi it's about the leadership din eh. The leadership, it, it's the brain, the mind, uh, and uh, yun, mahirap, mahirap. Anong oras po laban nila? Dapat ngayon na po, iniintay lang po natin no, makiat. Opo, Dine, good morning. Good morning, Mary Jane. Good morning, Idol Paukas, jo- Joel. Salamat. Delio, thank you very much. Ay, uh, Delio, nakita kita dun sa, kay, sa kaibigan ko sa Filipino Brothers. I would like to say hi to my friend, Filipino Brothers, and also BCCP. Medyo, um, hindi masyado ako nagko-comment sa group namin, but of course, I still support Boxing Content Creators Club of the Philippines. Kami po sa Boxing Content Creators Club of the Philippines. We may be, do- we may, we may be doing the same content. Pare-pareho man minsan yung content namin. Pero yung purpose namin ay uh, pare-parehas din. Ang goal namin is to, um, to support boxing, to support Filipino boxing. And uh, yun lang po. Um, we have uh, healthy competition against each other. But uh, at the end of the day, we also help each other on how to be better. And uh, if, if we look at it like that, then everyone will be harmonious. Now, um, that's all I'm gonna say. Nakakap. Panibago yung mukha ni uh, Chocolatito. Oh, parang bago na. Nibago nga ako eh. Uh, Powcast. Nag, uh, ng, sakit sa mata. Nalalabuan na ako. Ta- Ayan. Uh, okay. Powcast. Hinahanap po kung anong promoter kasi di ko makita dito sa Canada. The promoter for the upcoming fight. Let me just say the tale of the tape because it's already being uh, mentioned here. 33 years old versus 23 years old. 5-3 against 5-6. So, so mas, mas, mas matangkad po. Itong si Israel Gonzalez, 63, uh, rich against 70. So maraming lamang itong si uh, Israel kay Chocolatito. So ang lamang lang ni Chocolatito dito, eh, siya yung uh, obviously uh, presumingly, presumingly na mas magaling. You got this. Thank you very much. Mario, Sir Pao, ka shoutout naman po. Salamat po. Sir Pao, ano nangyari sa mukha sa chocolate? Parang nag o nga eh. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yan, Naruto. Um, alam mo, pare, gusto kong makita yung mukha mo <laughs> para may invite kita. Sana maganda internet mo. Actually, next time natin, pag mag-invite na tayo ng boxers kasi 
medyo yung dalawang interview ko, mga bagong boksingero, si Harry Oma, at saka si uh, Brian James Wald, medyo hindi magandang internet connection. So, ang hirap, nawawala yung flow. So, ang hirap, syempre, pag mga viewers, kagaya nyo, gusto nyo yung dire-diretso yung usapan, kundi mag-skip-skip kayo, uh, or you may go other things, because ma- 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 mahina eh. So, uh, siguro, one of the requirements that we will have is um, to have good internet connection. Unfortunately, uh, ganun talaga eh. Uh, paano kung uh, tamad? Eh, wala tayong magagawa, hindi ko na alam. Mamaya, ipakita din laban nila, Sir Robert Austria. Salamat po sa mga nag-comment. Thank you very much. Ako po si Pao Salud. And kasalukuyan po na pinapakita po si uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzales. Siya po ay naka-comouflage na damit na parang pang uh, pangantag dito, pang uh, disyerto po. Como vas la- uh, my pirata Sebi? Alright, so uh, I'm a Filipino, so I think we have some uh, Espanyol. Uh, no habla Espanyol, uh, Tagalog, Filipino, um, mi, mi amigo. So this is just uh, our fight blog uh, commentary and uh, conversation about uh, the fight that's gonna happen right now. Uh, Roman Gonzalez walking slowly uh, pababa ng uh, kanyang uh, locker room. And this is a very good setup here by Box Azteca and Zanfer Promotion and Matchroom. This is what happened when um, uh, a promoter, uh, a management, two promotions, uh, and then a TV channel, and then uh, The Zone, and then Matchroom. Eh, nagsama-sama, they create a very good event. I think this is a very good event here. And uh, I'm so happy that we, we get to watch this. Um, Actually, uh, isa kong segreto kaya ako nakakapanood uh, is because I have uh, a beta uh, app from the zone. So I'm testing the, the app uh, and, and seeing if it works better here in the Philippines. And then uh, I think they're looking to launch globally the, uh, the zone app, uh, which will be uh, the same thing as uh, your Netflix, only it's for boxing. Uh, so that. So. All right, you will see Powercast Sports be uh, doing a lot of fight vlogs uh, soon about uh, uh, usually the whatever is the um, high-level uh, boxing. So right now, introduction. So it's about to start. Coffee time, coffee time. Israel Gonzalez <clears throat> walking in right now. Uh, very nice uh, costume here. He has the 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 hat, the big hat, the uh, mariachi hat, uh, hat, and then uh, he has a cover in his a skull cover in his mouth, and then uh, gold and uh, black with the Mexican color on, on the side. So. So let me see your prediction on this one, uh, Republic Republica Dominica. All right, hi there, Elf Ovando. How are you, sir? Um, hola, cómo está? Uh, do you understand English, right? Welcome, po, sir. Pao idol, pao. Salamat po, idol site. Thank you. Okay, chocolatito now entering the uh, the. Um, I wouldn't call this an arena, but the studio. <coughs> Nicaragua, Chocolatito Gonzalez. Okay, let's let's talk about the uh, the opponents. Uh, I mean the the uh, protagonist for this fight. I, I'm doing uh, a lot more English because uh, I cannot do Spanish, and obviously uh, this is an international fight. Roman Gonzalez walking really slow here. I don't like how he looks. He looks like he's tired. Actually, um, Roman Gonzalez doesn't look like like he's uh kind of tired of boxing. <laughs> Parang um, nakabukaka. 
pa siya maglakad ng konti. Ayan, yeah, there you go. A little bit of energy raising his hand. Okay, Roman Gonzalez bowing now uh, on top of the ring. First Nicaraguan four division world champion po si uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Uh, 49 wins, 41 by knockouts, dalawang talo po. At yung kanyang dalawang talo ay galing kay uh, Wisalek Wanggek or si Sir Rong Visay. Uh, yun lang po ang kanyang dalawang talo. At uh, ang makakalaban niya ay si Israel Gonzalez. 25 wins, 11 by knockouts, 3 losses, 23 years old. Kung may event na po tayo. Salamat po sa magkakomment. Hermano, con tu dia de pratica habla e bien español. Thank you very much. Introduction right now. Pinapakilala na po. President Gilberto Mendoza Jr. Because this is going to be for the WBA Super World Flyweight, Super Flyweight Championship. So, um, the judges for this fight, Fernando Barboza, Humberto Olivares, and Alfonso Zamora. This is the co-main event. The main event later will be Estrada and Cuadras. In, being introduced right now, Israel Gonzalez. Yeah, pakicomment nga po kung kanino sa tino sa tingin nyo mananalo dito. Well, obviously, uh, lamadong-lamado po dito si, ano, si uh, Gonzalez, I think. Huh? Uh, but, let's see. Uh, there will always come a time na may bata na darating. Uh, parang yung nangyari lang nung isang araw uh, kay Lopez at saka Lomachenko. And um, to be honest, I, I don't, I don't, maybe it's just me because I haven't seen uh, Chocolatito walk out that much. But habang naglalakad si uh, Chocolatito, parang nakikita ko sa kanya na pagod na ba siya magboxing? <laughs> parang uh, ano lang eh, parang nakabuka ka pa maglakad eh. But uh, we'll see, maybe ganun lang talaga. Because slow yung ano niya, yung entrance niya, hindi pang hype eh. And he looks different. He looks different. May ano pa siya, may mga bigo-bigote pa siya. Parang kakaiba. Okay. Uh, 33 years old lang po ito. 33 versus 23. 23 po yung kalaban niya. Magandang umaga. Mamaya, Estrada naman tayo. Estrada versus Cuadras. Nicaragua. Hola, Tito Gonzalez. And they're shouting there. This is a very, it is a closed door event at the Gymnasio TV Azteca, Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. Um, this is 12 rounds in the Super Super Flyweight uh, contest and WBA Super World Super Flyweight Championship. Roman Gonzalez uh, on the trunks, uh, taken. Uh, it looks like he's managed by. Uh, Japanese taken uh, promotion and management. Here we go. Round number one is about to start. Magandang umage. Magandang umag. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Kailangan ko ng kape. Coffee, coffee. Ting, ting. Coffee ito. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Are you ready? Roman Gonzalez wearing the black with uh, a little bit of orange and then the black and gold for Israel Gonzalez who started with the jab. Israel Gonzalez po, ah, uh, is 5'6 and then 5'3 uh, naman dito kay uh, Roman Gonzalez. Looking big, Israel Gonzalez. Let's see what he got. Um, both of them are orthodox fighter. Israel Gonzalez looking like he's... Uh, 
He has good rhythm from the start. Kumbaga, ano, medyo he's moving left and right. Jab, left hook, right hook. Tinamaan ka agad po si Roman Gonzalez. Got hit there with the left hook. Roman Gonzalez, however, or Chocolatito is the one moving forward here. His hands up. And uh, the good thing about what I'm seeing right now is uh, Gonzalez is being the aggressive uh, fighter here. Looks like uh, he's the uh, the one trying to get the championship, but he is the one defending the uh, championship uh, belt, WBA Super Flyweight Championship. Israel Gonzalez moving left and right. Uh, oh my goodness, good left. Uh, that's a little bit hard. But on a block, naman. And um, if we're watching this on the, the zone. Uh, this is Zen for promotion. Um, Israel Gonzalez fighting tall using the jab uh, just to make sure that uh, he uh, he stays the distance uh, away from Chocolatito who's still trying to figure out how to go inside. That left hook by Israel Gonzalez not hitting the mark. So, uh, Chocolatito has been, uh, is, is continue to, continuing to move forward here. A little bit cornered right now. Countered. Nothing. Nothing significant yet. But uh, I, I see um, Gonzalez here doing very well defending uh, the attacks of uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez uh, able to hit with the jabs coming in. Oh, there you go. Good straight after uh, a jab. And Chocolatito trying to uh, unleash those combination, but Israel Gonzalez very active with dodging left and right. The juke left and right is uh, giving Chocolatito a hard time in trying to catch him. Chocolatito still moving forward here. Round number 128 seconds left. Israel Gonzalez still the counter puncher, the bigger guy. Trying to move away, moving to the left, moving to the right, and just making sure he doesn't stay in one place. Now he's cornered. Let's see what he's going to do here. He moves out of the corner. He moves up. And now he re he reversed it, but he's still backpedaling here. Chocolatito still trying to get in, still unable to do so. One straight punch. He hit uh, Gonzalez or, or Israel. There you go. Round number one is done. Um, wow. Um, so who do we give the, the first round? Can you buy that we the first round? Oh my god, that, that was a score. Okay, Chocolatita's corner, Marcos Caballero, trainer, Rudy Hernandez, the cut man. And he has two assists. Uh, in the Philippines, I think we only have one corner allowed uh, on the boxing event. Good morning uh, from the Philippines. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Shout out, Lord Scopi Pamor, idol watching from Santa Cruz, Occidental, Mindoro. Uy, good left hook. I think Gonzalez, uh, both of them are Gonzalez. Israel, let me give it to Israel. Israel 10 9. Okay, I'm gonna give the first round to the challenger, Israel Gonzalez. Orange and black trunks for Chocolatito, black and gold for Gonzalez, who's doing a good. Very good uh, combination counter punches as Chocolate, Chocolatito try to get gets in. Gonzalez, uh, let me change. Israel is very active with the combination, very fast as well. And uh, like what I said, um, we've seen a different. Uh, ooh, Gonzalez is getting hit here. He's getting tagged. Oh, oh my goodness, Gonzalez getting tagged. He's getting hit there by the combina with the combination of Israel Gonzalez, who's doing a great job backpedaling but punching with his own combination. And Chocolatito just trying to overpower, just trying to show that he is the better fighter here. Fighting fire with fire. That's exactly what's happening here. Chocolatito. There you go. Pushing forward. Relentlessly attacking now. He's getting the uh, some success here. And hitting Israel Gonzalez. Israel Gonzalez need to make sure that he doesn't stop with those combination counter attack to make sure that Gonzalez or Chocolatito stay out of bay because Chocolatito is not respecting those punches. Chocolatito is getting hit, but Israel 
is still the one uh, backpedaling here and uh, exchanges. There you go. Both of them got hit in the jaw. Oh my goodness. Gonzalez. Let me just change that again because, because both of them are good. Israel is doing a lot of uh, great things here. Israel Gonzalez countering Chocolatito, trying to get back here. One minute and 15 seconds in round number two. Round number one, I gave it to Gonzalez. And so far, uh, I may be giving this to Gonzalez for disruption of what Chocolatito is trying to do because Chocolatito is getting countered here. The thing about Chocolatito here is that... Um, he doesn't mind getting punched. He's just continuing to moving forward. And he is able to uh, also hit the mark and uh, uh, punish Gonzalez. Although it's not affecting too much of Israel right now. Because Israel is doing a lot of combination to the body and to the side cheek. There you go, body shot combination. One, two, three, four. And he is hitting Chocolatito with all of those bombs. Israel Gonzalez doing really good here against Chocolatito. If you, if you ask me, it's a close fight. There you go now. Chocolatito find the mark with the straight and the upper. And Chocolatito is still the aggressor. Chocolatito still the one moving forward in this bout. This is uh, a great boxing fight right now. Second round, first round, no peeling out. Second round, an even better round. No, it's a. This is it. It's it's hard to score this type of fights because uh, it's very close. That is why po, I cannot be uh, a judge because what will ha what will happen is, um, I give <laughs> naawa pa ako, so I cannot be a judge. Ten mil dollars el chocolatito, okay? Arriba Nicaragua. Oy, may mga taga Nicaraguan. Hello, Nicaraguan, Mexican friends, everyone watching this. My name is Pau Salud. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of Filipino boxing and a lot of boxing in general. Fights, blog, talks, although it's in Tagalog or Filipino language. But you're welcome. We will have more international boxing uh, coverage and uh, commentary and conversation. Maybe we will do a, um, a podcast in English as well. All right, I'll give the Chocolatito the second round. Chocolatito, Choco. So, uh, I'll give it 19-19 now. Third round. You know what I appreciate here with Israel Gonzalez? Israel Gonzalez is really active and looking like he uh, has a lot of energy and really moving fast with those uh, docking and joking. Left and right, just giving Chocolatito a hard time. But Chocolatito now, with those relentless attacks, he somehow finding Israel Gonzalez. Now he is finding him at will and 4-5 combination. Is Chocolatito, it's, that's what the, uh, the Chocolatito that we know. He is not a legend for, <laughs> for if there's no reason. And Chocolatito now, this is... Uh, Amazing, amazing to see that Chocolatito is non-stop attacking. He doesn't look like he is uh, getting tired here in the third round, even though he has been attacking from the first to the third, and he is just uh, pouring it in against Gonzalez, who is still fighting back with those counter, and uh, Chocolatito needs to be careful if you ask me, because he's getting a little bit comfortable with those attacks. And uh, like what I said, he's getting tagged with, the, with with those attacks. In the first two, three rounds, and the early rounds, this might not affect him that much. But uh, in the latter round, ooh, there you go. One-two punch combination by Chocolatito. And was able to hit uh, Israel straight to his face. And that was a good shot there. Very entertaining so far. I, I love this fight so far. So if you're watching this from Nicaragua, please, I would like to know if there's any Nicaraguan watching this. Chocolatito now really looking active, moving to the right, punching combination. Oops. Israel Gonzalez being warned here to not using the elbow or the shoulder. I didn't see that much. Israel still very good uh, with his counter punching. One, two, three, four. Nice body shot there by uh, Chocolatito. 
chocolatito. You can see that uh, chocolatito has a lot of energy coming into this fight, and he is not faced, even though he's getting hit. Good exchange of power punches here. Chocolatito, man, this guy is relentless. This guy is not stopping. He's just pressuring Gonzalez from round one to round number three. I hope he's still, ooh, good straight by Chocolatito. Chocolatito may be getting this round because of a lot of activities in Israel. Gonzalez looked at him and shouted after. So I'm going to give that to Chocolatito. Third round, I give to Choca, Chocolatito. So 29, 28 for Chocolatito. Chocolatito pa. Okay, yan. Sir Pao, yan ba yung tinalo ni Kahas na Israel Gonzalez? I mean, I just want to tell you first that this, uh, this guy... Uh, Israel Gonzalez and uh, Chocolatito, man, they're giving us a good show. Yes, uh, ito po yung tinalo ni uh, uh, Jerry ng Cajas na Israel Gonzalez. Matalo dito si Gonzalez. Eh, para po si Lee Gonzalez. Stephen, they're both Gonzalez. Is this the first name? Who's, who's Gonzalez is gonna lose? Hola, gracias from Nicaragua, Pampango. Ayun, Pampanga. <laughs> Round number four. So later tonight, we'll have Estrada and Cuadras. Uh, they'll be on a, a different um, uh, uh, slide stream. So just look at it on Palka Sports. Salamat po again. We're watching Chocolatito. And uh, Israel Gonzalez in Chocolatito is just a machine. Chocolatito, this is an epitome here of having good... Uh, so far, huh? having... Um, Good stamina and being relentless on the attack against that bigger guy, Israel Gonzalez, who oh, who was effective in his counter punching, but right now he just couldn't do anything because Gonzalez is pressing at will, uh, and he's just Israel Gonzalez couldn't do anything here so far. Uh, again, successful in some counter punching, but uh, Chocolatito now. Um, if he's a uh, if he's a car, he's heated up here and uh, he's uh, going full. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Like like. All right. Okay. Knockdown down the camera. All right. Wow. Good body shot again, uh, and uh, my camera fails. So. <laughs> Let me just fix my camera for a while. It's a little bit to the side. I'm sorry about this. There you go. Okay. Daming kalahi ang nanonood, sis. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness! Chocolatito got hit with a three punch combination, and Chocolatito here may be in trouble against Israel Gonzalez. And uh, Chocolatito says, "Let's do, it. let's do it." He's able to accept those three punch combination very well, if you ask me. And Chocolatito acknowledging the punches of Israel Gonzalez. Chocolatito seems like he's not getting um. Tired here is not being affected. Is not getting. I, I doubt if he's not getting any damage, but is is not showing. Is not showing any. Uh, uh, like he's not being affected with those punches, even though he's getting hit. This is a brawl right here, round number four, uh, and the round is almost over. Okay, round number four is done. I hate to score that one. Okay. Okay, so you know if if I would say something about the fight so far, round number four, scheduled for twelve. This is for the WBA championship. 
It is a very close fight. Um, I don't know who to score this to, but I have to choose. I'll give that to Israel. So that means 38. 38. So two rounds each, Israel first and fourth round, uh, second and third for uh, uh, Gonzalez uh, for Chocolatito. So two rounds to two rounds. Sana makalaban ni Nieto si Chocolatito. Oh my goodness, this is a good brawl here. And Gonzalez Israel, again, he is back pedaling, but he's doesn't mean that he's losing the fight. He is uh, throwing uh, heavy punches and it is hitting uh, Chocolatito. But Chocolatito, like what I've said, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to mind. Uh, and it's not being, uh, looks like he's not uh, getting affected or getting damaged at all, or th there's no. Um, is not being uh, well, how do you call this degraded by the punches because <laughs> uh, Chocolatito just relentless on the attack grabe uh, his attack is just he's not stopping he's pressuring here combination I hope the Chocolatito I have this until the 12th round because Israel Gonzalez looks like a tough customer right now Again, the bigger guy here is Israel Gonzalez against Chocolatito. And Chocolatito, however, doesn't mind that. Just pressuring, pressuring now, head to head, left and right punches. The, the first two, the first round to the fourth round, that was really action packed. Uh, it was really fast paced. Oh, there you go. The combination, five punch combination, another combination responded by Israel Gonzalez. And Chocolatito is getting hit right here. I don't know how much Chocolatito can take. But he is taking them very well. And Chocolatito, again, even after getting hit with those combinations, still the one attacking, still the one pursuing, still, you know, pressuring. Oh my goodness. Chocolatito, um, uh, how young is this guy? He's 33 years old. So, uh, but I mean, he's punching like he is 20. It's like, man, th those combinations, those punches is not stopping. And uh, look at this. Israel is picking his shot. Israel Gonzalez, however, looking still very snappy here with this uh, counter punching. It, uh, usually, if you're the, the one trying to get the championship belt, you're supposed to be the one attacking. So, anyway. Labang boss pao kakabukas ko lang. Alright, Sir Pao, kung manalo si Israel, ito lalabanan ni Donaire. Pwede. No knockouts, no knockdowns yet. Um, so, round number five. I'm, I'm gonna give round number five to Choco Latito. Choco. So, 48. Not 47. Um... I, I wanna say this, maganda yung mga counter ni Israel Gonzalez. Pero yung chocolatito, eh parang uh, chocolate na nalagay sa freezer na antigas-tigas. Na walang tigil sa kaka-atake. He's just attacking and attacking Israel Gonzalez. And uh, if you ask me, um, if I'm the judge, especially in a championship fight, and if you're the champion and you're the aggressor, I will I'll give you a lot of credit. Israel Gonzalez countering right here. Tinatamaan po dito si Gonzalez with those jabs. Again, um, <laughs> there you go, Gonzalez. Uh, Chocolatito just, just pressuring, just in your face kind of fight. 
this is what's happening right now. Magandang umaga po. Good morning. Good afternoon sa lahat po ng nanonood ng uh, laban na ito ni uh, Israel Gonzalez at ni Roman Gonzalez. Hindi po sila magkapatid. They're not brothers, but they're both brothers in boxing. Uh, and Chocolatito versus Israel Gonzalez showing us a very good fight right here. This fight is happening in Mexico City TV Astica. Very nice fight so far. I'm I'm happy. I'm very glad to be able to showcase this one to you and to be able to share this fight. And non-stop action here, non-stop attack by Chocolatito who's using all of his arsenals, just combining hooks, left hook, straight, straight to the body, left hook to the body, and uh, just a combination, a gamut of attack here being thrown. Oh, I'm, I'm very impressed with Roman Gonzalez. Um, I'm very impressed. Sobrang, sobrang sipag. Sobrang daming energy against a 23 years old. What a showcase here by Roman Gonzalez. Although hindi pa niya napupuruhan itong si Israel Gonzalez, who's still showing uh, a bite here, uh, still showing a lot. But right now, it's just Chocolatito just pressing and pressing. The good counter, one, two, three punch. But um, medyo nabawasan na po yung... Uh, uh, counter nito ni Israel Gonzalez he was very effective with the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 combination against uh, Chocolatito but right now it's 1, 2, 3 oh, below the belt again warning and uh, Israel Gonzalez saying that uh, it's not below the belt mm, body shot again mm, body shot very good uh, this is what we want to see as a boxing fan a uh, good exchange between um, two Latino fighters, Nicaragua and Mexican. Wow. Bam. Um, I'm loving this fight. There you go. Good one, two, three combination by Israel. Gonzalez from Mexico. Mexico versus Nicaragua. But Gonz Chocolatito just... Is this guy a machine? This guy is very well conditioned here. Round number six. And the attack of the champion. It's non-stop. Trying to go inside. There you go. Chocolatito. So that's 58. To 58, sorry. 58 to 56. Good morning. Bagal ni Chocolatito. Di ba Israel Gonzalez siya yung tinalo ni Angkahas? Yes. So maganda pala ang uh, laban, Boss Pao. 48-47 sa scorecard mo. Uh, yeah, 58-56 na ngayon. Yes. Chocolatito versus Denarius Sir Pao. Sana uh, mapag-usapan next video mo. Um, pwede naman. Um... Pero nagsalita na nga ako lahat ng uh, super flyweight gusto niya makalaban. Eh syempre mas ideal na ma makalaban yung uh, hindi Pilipino. Nakakatuwa lang pag sinasabi ko na, Uy, pwede pala maglaban. Pwede naman talaga. Ang dami nagre-react <laughs> si Angkahas at si Dunayer. But this one would be good. If he can uh, defeat Uba Ali, then we can talk about uh, going to the uh, 115, I think. Chocolatito still the one attacking here, round number 7. And uh, Chocolatito, man, um, if you think 33 is not a prime, think again because Chocolatito is just showing a lot of energy, a lot of stamina, relentless attack left and right. And one other thing that's very, very uh, impressive with uh, Chocolatito is that uh, he's able to take punch, punches here. He, he has been hit with a lot of punches as well by Israel Gonzalez. And looks like it's not damaging him at all. And right now, Israel Gonzalez in the corner. And he is getting pummeled with those rakatak attack. attack. <laughs> A lot of combination. Chocolatito. And Israel Gonzalez, he looks like he's the one getting tired. And he's on the corner right now. Unlike what's happening in the earlier rounds where he is able to move really fast. And go outside uh, and not be encountered. Right now, he's just being pummeled right here. Chocolatito, from round number one to round number seven, relentless. 
And uh, sooner <laughs> uh, than later, uh, Israel Gonzalez will be slowing down. It looks like Israel Gonzalez, even if he's the younger guy here, he is the one that, that has slowed down significantly. If you ask me in Chocolatito, take that chocolate punches. And Israel, I think breathing hard here. The combination is not there anymore. Um, he needs to throw those combination on Galing Talaga. But after he attacks, his hands, left hand, is high, good defense. Man, I'm very impressed with Chocolatito here. I mean, uh, Israel is not out of the fight, but Chocolatito is just showcasing, showcasing his uh, power, his aggressiveness. His uh, combination, his diversified attacks. You know, if if uh, I could term this as a gun, I would say Chocolatito is a machine gun here. Non-stop. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, if you get hit though, with those machine gun punches, you know, relentless, um, just unloading and unloading. And uh, right now, you know, if you get hit with this flush, you know, something's going to happen, about to happen here. Right now, Israel Gonzalez, uh, just defending, uh, but not moving that much. He's getting tired, if you ask me. Okay, so Chocolatito is getting the rest of the rounds now. Three rounds in a row, all Chocolatito. So my scorecard, 68. Plus 10 to plus 9, uh, 65. Actually, pwede pa tong 69-64 eh. Anak, hindi ko nabasa yung unang comment. 56-53. Uh, 50, ano ko eh? 58-56 ako. Baligtad nga eh. Ang napapagod si Israel eh. Well, he's, he's uh, definitely pressuring. Roman Gonzalez definitely pressuring. And the only difference right now that I'm seeing is that Israel Gonzalez is not able to counter the way he was able to counter in the earlier round because he's getting tired. Oh, he got hit below the belt. Is that below the belt? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Chocolatito is really good. I think um, everyone, whoever is facing, will really have a hard time. So fast, so furious, so relentless with those attacks. And then he, he has uh, what you call this a gamut of attack, just uh, different varieties. Sari, sari, store attack. But he got countered here with the straight right by Israel Gonzalez. That's what I'm talking about. If I'm Israel Gonzalez, I mean, I should not get tired uh, in moving because if I don't move, I get hit with the punches. And then if I um, respond with the counter punch, it has to be more than two punches because Israel Gonzalez, I mean, because Chocolatito will get back with you with multiple punches. It's like 10 to 2 or 10 to 3 punches being um, as the exchange rate. Some person talk against that law. Oh my god. Israel Gonzalez getting pummeled right here. Mm mm. Round, uh, round number 8, 1 minute and 9 seconds, uh, Gonzalez. Medyo nagpahinga sa kanyang uh, pressure, pero he's still in front of Israel. Chocolatito, I mean. Ang hirap, pagparayong Gonzalez. Ooh! You know, the thing about uh, Chocolatito here, that's very impressive is that uh, 
very focused in attacking. It's just uh, his mind is just attack, attack, attack. But uh, although he's getting hit, he's able to really defend a lot of combination from Israel Gonzalez. Now, good job for Israel Gonzalez for ducking here, but he's not moving. That's the one thing that um, has been missing uh, in the latter round for Israel Gonzalez. Uh, in the earlier rounds, he was able to move uh, using uh, the the ring and out of those punches by inter from Chocolatid. But right now, it's just his hands is up. But he's not moving. I think that's a bad idea because after five punches, Chocolatito will be able to find the mark. So again, again another Chocolatito round. So um, 78 para sa akin to 74. So far, I've only given um, two rounds for Israel. Naawa pa ako sa isa. So, six round to two. And uh, Chocolatito is the one uh, winning this. Chocolatito for the win. Yes, I think Chocolatito is winning the fight. Sayang daming shop na pwedeng uh, iharap kay ang kahas for unification. Mayroon ko ba kung bakit arong bakit ang binibigay sa kanya puro the defense. Chocolatito so good, yes. Sir Pao, kapatid sila sa labas. Para yung magaling. 78, 77. How can that be? 10, 9 na lagi. Nagbigay ka ba ng ano? <laughs> Malama yata yun. Uh, 78, 77. Pero ako kayo mamaya pag sa break kung paano yung scoring. Kasi kailangan 10, 9, 10, 8. Pag, ibig sabihin, meron kang binigay na 10, 10. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Round number nine. Chocolatito is still the one attacking here. You know, I can say that uh, Israel Gonzalez is a tough guy here, but uh, right now he's not doing enough to, to win the fight. He's, he's uh, standing in there against uh, Chocolatito and he's getting uh, punished uh, and uh, credit to him uh, because he's tough. But uh, toughness doesn't win the fight uh, alone. You have to be able to uh, also test your opponent and punch him. And right now, Chocolatito is just unloading um, machine gun of punches. It's like there's 100 bullets on those machine gun and it's just pouring it in. You know, some, getting, uh, some hitting the mark, some not. But uh, with those 100 punches, you know... <laughs> You you hit it. There you go. One two coming in. Uh, left straight to the face face of uh, Gonzalez. Grab it. Chocolatito man, very impressed. Now it's it's the uh, This is the the first time that I really watch closely and uh, commentate on his fight and talk to you about his fight. It's really really impressive. I wanted. I would like to see him fight. Actually, three sakit rung bisay again. Kasi yun lang yung talo niya. Eh. I think that is what I will do. But I think after this one, if they both win, sa Estrada, which is the next fight after this, pano din yong sa isang live stream ko, ah. Tapos na pagkatapos nito yun ang gagawin ko. Eh, sila yung maglaban. Uh, to unify the belt. Chocolatito. Grabbing Chocolatito, just Chocolatito just attacking. It's as simple as that. Chocolatito just moving, moving. Very nice. Ganda ng uh, pasok ng Chocolatito. Chocolatito again. Uh, they're exchanging now, but again, the exchange rate is uh, 10 is to 2. <laughs> or 10 is to 3 or 11 is to 3. It's just a lot of punches being thrown by Gonzalez, by Chocolatito here. It's so hard because uh, both of them are Gonzalez. By Chocolatito here and uh, it's again another Choco show. Um, 88. 83. Okay. 
So when you score around, um pag uh, usually walang 10 pin, eh, walang ganoon. So anak uh, so anak tuloy at anak CKD 109 pag lamang yung isa. So 109 109 108 pag may knockout. Okay, and you score I scored it like this way. Uh, because nung nagdating ako sa WBC uh, seminar sa judging Domination, disruption, uh, domination, damage, and disruption. So who's dominating? Is there a damage? Kung sino mas mataas na damage? And disruption naman, eh, yung isipin mo lang yung paano na nalala si Floyd Mayweather pag uh, may ginagawa yung kalaban tapos hindi niya nagagawa yung gusto niyang gawin. Kung gusto niyong uh, panoorin ang laban, download app loops. Sir Pao, good AM dito ako. Alulak, KSA, pa shoutout naman family ko sa Iloilo. Maraming salamat. Nanonood ako palagi sa'yo. God bless, Fernando Francisco. Thank you very much, Boss Pao. Di ba, nakalaban niya ang kahasyan. Yes, natinalo niya ang kahasyan. Gandang bakbakan. Filipino Brothers, check nyo rin si Filipino Brothers. Kala ko naka, <laughs> nakalive ka, pari. Kala ko nakalive ka. Nakakapi pa ako ngayon. But, uh, man, uh, chocolate ito is just uh, the chocolate machine. <laughs> That's He's like a machine here, not getting tired. This is, you know, a lot of Filipinos are good, but uh, the most common thing about Filipinos uh, na sinasabi ng mga taga-ibang bansa is stamina daw, ang kulang. They have skills, they have power. Jogging, siguro kailangan magsipag tayo ng jogging. And, um, chocolate ito just, what he's doing here is just punishing uh, Israel Gonzalez and um, it's possible that he he breaks later. It's possible. Depende, matibay. Eh. Pero, man, th those punches are going in now. Although is Israel is replying right back with this combination, it's not really affecting uh, Gonzalez here. There you go. Good one by Israel. Not affecting uh, Chocolatito, I mean. Chocolatito, my God. Hey, Nicaragua should be proud of this guy. Very, very focused and motivated. Very, man, consistent in the attack. Kung nasa business world tayo, I mean, this guy is, uh, has good standards in his attack and is just going, you know, though good uh, counter punch here, good timing there by Israel. But after that, he's not following it up and uh, Chocolatito just pushing forward with this attack. Two punch, three punch combination. Nakatama doon si Israel. Oh, there you go. Oh, my goodness. Gonzalez. Ano ba yan? Gonzalez. Um, Israel was able to hit Chocolatito with a straight. But Chocolatito is getting back the, the round. Oh, there you go. Finally, Israel is alive here. Replying right back. Now, it's a, what do you call this? A controlled brawl. They're giving each other a hard time right here, going back and forth. But uh, Chocolatito, just too many punches. Even though Israel has the, some good instances in this fight or in this round, just Chocolatito over, over outworking, that's the right term, outworking Israel, Gonzalez. The younger guy is being outworked. By the champion, the older guy here, the smaller guy, who's just convincing everyone here that he gets this round. Israel Gonzalez did a very good job in this round, but not enough for me to uh, for for me to give him the round. So I I give it to Choco, Chocolatito. Ninety eight, ninety two. I don't. There's no way Israel Gonzalez is gonna win this. Uh, by a decision now. Yes, nakalaban. Wala. Delegado sa counter pa. Pag doon ay re, yes. Filipino Brothers, uh, pakisubscribe po si Filipino Brothers. Kala ko magla-live ka rin, pwede naman tayo sabay. Ang konti lang nanonood din. Hindi ka tulad pag Pinoy eh. Boss Pao, idol ko kayo ni Bad Rales. Pwede ba kayo magpaalam na gumawa ng vlog Pau Arana Tilis ang pamagat. <laughs> Open ako dyan. Open ako dyan. Peace na. Peace na tayo ha. 10-9. Yes. Yun. 10-9. Ganyan. Panalo si Chocolate. Eh. Dapat sumama na lang ako sa'yo. Sana. Sana sumama ka. 
sa estrada sa mama ka. Eh, hindi, dapat sa channel mo mag-live ka rin para kumita ka rin. Pero konti lang. May ads ba ako? May ads ba lumalabas? Ang ganda ng pasok. Pwede pala tayo mag-ano. Ikaw yung, ika yung et, et, kailangan mag-test kit, ma-training kita ng konti sa ano, paano mag-co-announcing uh, eh. Anyway, round number 11 ah. Chocolate, Tito. Maumay na sa chocolate itong si Israel Gonzalez sa dami ng atake. Grabe, chocolate Tito is just... I've been saying this the whole time. Machine. It's like an automatic yung mga punch niya. Automatic gun. Papang, papang, babang, bam, bang. Boom! Boom! Pow! <laughs> okay. Very good performance by Chocolatito. This is... I mean, um, Israel Gonzalez, uh, this is a good match. Uh, I mean, uh, Israel Gonzalez is still there, still punching, but he's being outworked here and he's not doing enough to win the, the fight. <sighs> Chocolatito. Man, um, it's, it's just all chocolatito. Israel, a spurt of uh, combination hitting uh, Gonzalez. But it, it doesn't look like the, the punch of Israel Gonzalez is really uh, hurting. Uh, the, the punch of Israel is really hurting Chocolatito. Because Chocolatito, he has one direction here. Move forward. I have not seen Chocolatito really move backwards here. It, it it seems like he's the one trying to get the, the belt here against Israel, but he's the defending champion here. And uh, Chocolatito is the one showing that he wants it more. There you go. One straight body shot. Mm, good straight. This is a masterclass. Kumbaga sa mga European announcer, commentator. Masterclass being shown right here by Chocolatito against Israel Gonzalez, who's just not giving him anything right back. Uppercuts going inside. Chocolatito is just cooling Israel Gonzalez with those combination and the relentless attack. The Nicaraguan machine is just pouring it in, and it looks like he's going to hit the home run. After this round, that is the round number 11. That is round number 11. And that is brought to you by our sponsor. Let me work for a while here. And let me just show you my sponsor, Vito's Barbecue. Vito's Barbecue is available on Facebook. And you just order online. Um, uh, just search Vito's Barbecue. And it, that's delicious barbecue. Uh, pork and, uh, of course, chicken barbecue. Man, I'm getting hungry. What's... Ano ulam niyo sa lunch? Anong ulam ba sa lunch? Mamaya maya, I just wanted to say, we will have Estrada and uh, Quadra. So, mamaya maya. Ha? So, if you wanna sponsor me as well, pwede po kayo mag-sponsor. Ha, salamat po. Okay, sir. Tao, ilang taon na, tao na ba si Israel? 23 years old lang po. So, 108. 101. <laughs> Order kayo ng barbecue sa Vito's Barbecue. Masarap. Salamat, Perry Jane. Okay lang. Walang ads. Uh, ganun talaga ang buhay. Basta mahalaga. <laughs> Ibigay ko yung laban sa inyo. At saka may sponsor naman ako eh. Uh, sa mga gusto po mag-sponsor, kung may business kayo, i-ano ko, i-ano ko, dito. I, um, at ako ito babanggitin ko meron tayong isang sponsor na uh, Vito's Barbecue round number 12 grabe ito si Chocolatito let, let me uh, just say oh Filipino Brothers nagmember ka sa akin nagsubscribe ka 49 pesos per month Uy, oh, tapos may membership ako so kumikita po tayo sa membership sa extra membership because um Well, kabisisip ko nag ano sa akin na nagjoin sa sa so, 49 pesos nagbayad ka per month. 
<laughs> Salamat. Wow, member sa Filipino Brothers. Thank you sa so support. Grabe, ah. Mas, mas maliit yung channel niya. Siya pa yung nagbibigay sa akin pera. May membership ka rin ba, Filipino Brothers? Iwan mo rin yan. Para ibalik ko na lang yung 49 pesos mo. <laughs> like, kala ko nakalive ka eh. Dapat nag-live ka eh. Uy, grabe. Sa pool na naman si uh, Israel Gonzalez. <coughs> Nakakatulong pa yung membership kasi may meron ako mga interviews na wala masyadong nanonood. And it keeps me going. Tuwar kahapon si Brian James Wild at si Ari Omak. Na sobrang hirap na hirap ako doon sa interview dahil ang hirap ng internet sa bukid. Pero tinuloy pa rin natin. Chocolatino. Chocolatino. <laughs> Chocolatino. He's right. He's a Chocolatino here. Chocolatito. Still uh, attacking here. Um... Pero grabe, very impressive yung ginawa niya. That, uh, ooh, still hitting, still scoring here. Both of them able to accept the punches, but the thing is, Chocolatito is just, oh my. Very good, good counter here. 50 seconds left in round number 12. And if Israel good Gonzalez will not put Chocolatito down for good or knockout, he will not win this fight. Ah... Uh, Oh, there you go. He's winning the fight. The round, I mean. Israel, because, oh, he's getting hit. And Israel Gonzalez hitting Chocolatito right now. And he's getting his last spurt. And his last, kumbaga, last stand in this fight. But Chocolatito coming back. Ibang klase yung Chocolatito. Hindi, alam mo, he can coast here. Kumbaga, lamadyo na, lamadyo na siya. Lamang na, lamang na siya sa laban. Pero, he is fighting warrior spirit. Talaga nakikipagsabayan. What a fight. Wow. Nako, bigay na natin kay Gonzalez yung huling round. So, my final score. And uh, tingnan natin kung tama ko. Uh, 117. Teka, teka, ta. Nawala yun. 192 plus 10 101 111 Ano score nyo? Para na naman ako ng ad <laughs> 117, 111 uh, Paki, ano nga comment nyo po yung ano Just after nito, uh, pwede po kayong magpunta uh, po dun sa sa isang on live stream where I will live stream uh, the uh, antag dito live stream ko yung kay uh, chocolate kay Estrada at saka kay Quadras 110 118 okay 117 115 112 115 112 110 118 ako po 117 111 ang aking score I I gave 3 rounds uh, kay uh, Alam mo, sa totoo lang, pwedeng 118-112 para sa akin. Ha? Pero 117-111. Sino pa? Paki, ano po yung mga score? Okay. <clears throat> Again, iuulitin ko lang. Again, thank you very much, Filipino Brothers, for watching. I thought you're going live. So, my Zapra score it 115-112. A lot of 115-112 I'm seeing. Sa The Zone po, sa The Zone. Meron po kasi akong ano, beta testing sa The Zone. So, libre po ako sa The Zone na app. Uh, hindi pa po, po siya available sa Google Play, but we're testing the app. Kumbaga, to check in kung okay ba siya o hindi. Uh, and then I'm subscribed to subscribe to Fight. Yung uh, PBC lang ang ano, ang wala na minsan uh, pumi, na may, alam mo na. <laughs> ang hikinood lang tayo. Idol Pabati po. Uh, my family sa barangay Mulawin, Santa Cruz, Occidental, Mindoro, Remedio family, Saiduin family, and uh, Partida family. Um, I need to upgrade. Sumasakit na yung mata ko because cellphone lang po itong hawak-hawak ko, cellphone. Um, so, hindi kaya ng laptop ko kasi yung laptop ko Google Chromebook lang. So, baka maghanap tayo ng sponsor na uh, makabili tayo ng uh, Apple. Uh, o kaya mas magandang... Uh, uh, dag dito, mas magandang uh, laptop para makapag uh, live na ako sa laptop exposed medyo sa chocolate dito pag may pag-asa si Angkas at Ninete Sarpao 117, 115, unanimous decision for chocolate dito 
Oy! 117-115. Okay. I don't know how I scored it. 117-111. May 10-8 ka ba? May 10-8 rounds ka, anak? CKD? Um, here's one thing, no? Um, by the way, I've seen, seen Chocolatito. Pwede siyang talunin ng isang power puncher. Uh, what I mean is that natatamaan siya ng suntok eh. Pero hindi siya tinatabla ni Israel Gonzalez eh. So, if he is able to face uh, a power puncher, baka po. So again, while we're waiting for the decision, um, lunch nyo mamaya, umorder kayo sa Vitas Barbecue ha. Okay. Scorecard. The Dosio Santos. And now we go to the scorecard. For este combate. I don't know what that means. I need to learn Spanish. 118, 116-112. 117-111. <laughs> Chocolatito. Roman El Chocolatito Gonzales. Okay, panalo po si eh, Roman Gonzales Chocolatito. Men, um, he deserved that win and no doubt siya yung panalo and uh, at least may tumama ako doon sa isang score. Uh, explain ko lang dito kay uh, anak uh, anak uh, turo ang reta sa ano, score. Medyo alanganin yung 117 ano eh. Tama yung 118, 110 uh, 116, 112 117, 111 So um, at least walang hindi malayo no? Um, like what I've said Pwede siyang 118, pwede siyang 110. Depende po talaga sa, ano, kasi there are some close, uh, kumbaga mayroong mga close na na round na pwedeng ibigay kahit uh, kare, kanino eh. So, 117, 111, I'm glad. Siguro pwede na ako mag-judge, no, ng konti. Kasi tumatama ng konti yung mga, ano, ko eh. Hindi naman ganun kalayo. Meron kasi mga, ano, na malayo talaga eh. So, what's, what's next for, what's next for Chocolatito? Ang daming nagko-comment na, ano, oy, pwede na kay Donaire. Um, sa totoo lang, I, I don't think, um, uh, I don't think that fight will happen, uh, soon, or, because I think after this one, ang sinasabi nila, eh, baka daw, uh, maglaban itong si, ano, si Estrada, at saka si, uh, si Chocolatito. So, um, I'm very interested in seeing that, uh, because pareho silang, uh, malupit, at, uh, I think, um, a lot of people will be interested to see this one. Uh, sa Pilipino, we are interested in seeing uh, Donaire go up against any champion, lalo kay Gonzalez. Uh, and, sige, para lang ma mapag-usapan natin, um, malaki ang chance manalo ni Donaire dito kasi may power siya. And, um, gaya ng sinabi ko, kung magpapatama si Chocolatito ng ganun, eh, may kalalagyan siya kay Donaire na may grabe yung left hook ni Donaire. So, yun. Yun ang nakikita ko. But, uh, I really wanted to see this fight uh, with uh, Estrada and uh, Chocolatito. I am more interested in seeing that fight um, uh, it's just because uh, mas tingin ko mas maganda yung laban na yan. So again, sa mga nalate po, um, Sir, sir, papremyo ka pag nakakuha namin yung scorecard. <laughs> Wala pa akong pang-cash ngayon eh. Sa ano ko napupunta yun, diretso sa family ko eh. Sir, wrong visay na lang para ang kahas. Para ma Yan, pwede yung wrong visay. He's still good. Target ni Donare is chocolate dito para sa division. Uh, and it, target niya lahat ng ano, ng 150. Yun ang sabi niya. So, yun. Okay. So, I'm gonna finish this one. Uh, uulitin ko po sa mga late po. Uh, ang nanalo po sa laban by a unanimous decision 
is uh, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, 118, 110, 116, uh, 112, 117, 111. Yan po ang final score. Lahat po ng uh, judges ay score in favor of Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. At uh, siya po ang panalo and still the WBA uh, champion, uh, super flyweight champion. Ngayon, ang sunod na po ay ang laban po ni Juan Francisco Estrada at uh, <coughs> sorry at ni Quadras. So, um, lilipat po ako doon sa isa kong live. Uh, pakipuntahan na lang po yung isa kong live. Okay. Kita tayo sa kabila kong live kasi simula na ipapakita na eh. Bye guys.